Hey guys, we're back on the Captain's Log with Christina Montori. Hey. How are you? Comedian extraordinaire. I'm great. I'm oh. really excited to actually be meeting you in person. I feel like I already know you from all of the <laughs> Captain's Logs I, I watch. Have you been watching? Yeah. Oh, come on. They I'm going to give so you a test. Oh, What's no, your favorite? I haven't watched all of them. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Oh, you should gosh, put your seatbelt on. Do you have it on? It's on. Oh, okay. It's on. It's on. I'm Don't just scare living, me. I'm living on the edge with it behind me, but I'll Everyone put it Everyone will here. complain. They'll, they'll, they'll start messaging us. I'll put it here. She's never seatbelt on. You're driving dangerous. It's you all right. I got it. Safety first. You're good. You're I got good. it. Safety first. You're just trying to show off. Pretty much. Yeah, I got Pretty you. Pretty much. Oh, my chef is letting me go. Hey, Chef Gisson. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, how long have you been doing comedy? I've been doing comedy for a couple of years, performing comedy, yep. but I've been writing comedy since forever. I mean, I used to be a weather lady and that the jokes just write themselves. You know? So where just were you a weather lady? In uh, Shreveport, Louisiana at first, and then Roanoke, Virginia, and which is my hometown. And what brought you to this area? This area. So when I was 15, came with my family to... Naples. We had a Groupon for La Playa, actually. Really? And then, uh, yeah, and then my uh, dad was always real big into interstate, uh, uh, real estate, interstate, real estate. So got a couple of spots in Naples Park. We just came back for vacationing. And then just this year, I decided to fully embrace the nomad lifestyle and just go where the wind blows, wherever I feel like I want to be. Yeah. So right now, I'm right here. And you, you kind of spend uh, the winters right now. You're going to be like the youngest snowbird ever. Pretty much. And I'm not exactly a snowbird. I'm, I'm going with, with Nomad because like I was just in Atlanta a couple of weeks ago. I'll yeah. probably go back. I have a So you're kind of, of on a road comic. In a way, yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's not, a, it's not a set schedule. Mm -hmm. I kind of just go. I meet people such as yourself. Right. Um, get shows. Have some fun. Along when the it gets way. dull, move on to the next spot. So you yeah. are a aspiring full time. You want to be a comic on tour? Tell yeah. me what the struggles are. The struggles. And I can tell you how to help. I can help you. Okay. Um, right now I'm having so much fun. I haven't yeah. really ran into too many struggles other than my own. Um, but the pay, yeah. like the big paid gigs, obviously are not happening yet. I mean, we oh, have yeah. a big, we have a show coming up March second yes. at Off the Hook, and there's going to be a bunch of comics. Yes. It's a showcase show. That'd yes. be great. But I mean, you're not like selling out theaters, so right, right, let's... right. I also haven't really invested uh, as much time as I probably should have to selling out theaters oh, because yeah? I'm having too much fun um, laying around on the beach. That's Is that like... the thing? But here's the thing. I've been kind of going with what feels right, what mm -hmm. feels good in the moment, having fun with my life because I'd spent too much time just doing what everybody else wanted me to do. Right. But it actually put me in the perfect spot because I don't know if you remember, about a year ago, came down for your um, your open mic yep. competition, yep. right? So I was down here for that and I was on the beach just hanging out. I was uh, Wait, writing say comedy. say hi to Laura. Hey, Hello, hey Bruce. Laura. Bear, what's going on guys? How are you? Thanks for watching. I love when people tune in. Yeah, they say hi. Yeah, hey guys. Um, so you were on the beach? Yeah, I was on the beach just writing. Uh, I had, I think the, the, the caption was uh, Zen Out. And, okay. Um, yeah, and that's, you know, kind of a play on that ancient, that very ancient quote, um, you know, rock out with your cock out. I think Gandhi I, said that. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah, Zen Out with my pen out, and you saw that. It was on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And you just commented on it. Hey, if you're in town, I've got a guest spot tonight. You right. Know? And that was like an hour later. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Here's how, the thing. how did that even happen? It was the weirdest thing. It was like the right spot at the right time. And I was thinking, you know, I'm all sandy. I've been at the beach all day. Right. I can't be at a show in an hour. There's no way. And I'm like, you know what? I got to make it happen. I, uh, I, I ran to the beach. I had to run back. I'm all oh, sweaty. God. I'm like, all right, I got to be there in 15 minutes. It takes about 15 minutes to get there. I didn't know there. any of this. Oh, yeah. This is, I was. You I was, were very quiet I, about this. Oh, I was, I was acting like it was all chill. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I have, I have 30 minutes to get there. It takes about 15 minutes to get there. I'm going to call an Uber so I can get ready in the car so I get all my stuff I, I'm in the car the windows down I'm drying my hair I didn't even wash my hair it's still wet from the beach I'm drying my hair out the window <laughs> gonna get there I rush in I'm like I'll be able to you know throw some makeup on or look kind of decent um when I get in there I'll get to, I'll go to the bathroom chill out but I get there and Stacy Steele is hosting yeah meet her she's amazing she's, she's a, great she's a friend of mine now so of that's course. why all this just worked out by itself she's like you're up in five minutes I'm like, uh, excuse me? What? <laughs> uh, Wait, so okay. so I guess I didn't even know. So how much time did you have at the time? I had, uh, she gave me, the, the, I believe, uh, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, 10 minutes but minutes. how much material did you have? Um, I, did I, I mean, ask gosh, you that? Did, did, you did I ask you, like, oh, are you okay with doing 5 or 10 or something? 
No, I can't take that call. Sorry, guys. I needed to take that call. <laughs> that was my attorney, but I can't take it. All right. So you had you had a few. You had how much of material? I mean, I have hours of material at so the I time. Just, yeah. Everyone says they have hours of material, but they really don't. How much funny material? Like I can talk for hours too, but uh, how much funny material did you think you had? At the time, maybe an hour. Okay. So, so, but you still weren't headlining. You just right. You headline some gigs now, yes. 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 Okay. And I um, also produced some of my own shows in Roanoke, Virginia. We had one sellout show. It was like over 200 people. Really fun time. Very cool. Yeah, we brought in a, a traveling comedian. His name's Cliff Cash. Really good. Yeah, I follow Cliff Cash. He's he's an awesome comedian, but he came out to our show to headline, kind of co-headline. Yep, yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So the future of comedy for you is going to be what? The future for comedy for me is going to be it's hard to say because like I'm saying like I'm telling you now I'm just doing what I want to do in the moment and seeing yeah. where that takes me not making any plans you're the just independent she's in independently moment. wealthy and she doesn't have to work <laughs> I re- I can really, we get married I'm a bougie let's bum. do that I'm now. a bougie bum I'm just <laughs> how does that work <laughs> a bougie bum no I'm not I uh, I rent my my house Airbnb and I've been hanging okay. with my brother's house so that's how I've been and funding some things. I have some other investments too. So, very cool. Yeah. And so, as far as your comedy, tell us what we can expect. What can you expect from my comedy? I, I've seen a bunch, but I want to yeah. know what you. So I have material from. I used to be married. I just got divorced too. Yeah. So that's another. That's another thing. Just changed my life completely. Just turned it upside down. Got the etch a sketch. Had yeah. this cool yeah. thing and it shook it all up. And now I'm drawing right. a new thing. And yeah. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll figure it out together. But my comedy is very real. Okay. I do not censor myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I have which nobody, no comic should. They shouldn't, but some people do. You know what I mean? I censored myself for one show because it was um, a really. Uh, religious crowd and I totally regretted doing that there's a, there is scenarios yeah. where you're booked on a show and you know the yeah. opener will be told to you know look you can't you can't be super dirty exactly there's two reasons why comics don't want comedians dirty up front uh-huh. right because a comedian who is clean wants the whole show to be uh-huh. clean right. a comedian that's dirty right. wants the whole impact right. of them being dirty and catching all the jokes that are right. dirty True. To them, because they're the headliner. True. They don't want an opener to go up and, you know, use a bunch of material that already has the crowd, like, used to being dirty. Oh, yeah. They want the shock factor of doing that. Yeah, you need to have that flow through the whole show, whatever Correct. vibe you want to have for each show. Exactly. Yes. And I'm glad you brought that up, too. Um, so, yeah, I think there is, there's, you know, offensive and dirty humor and things that are... That you can say in certain ways that do offend people for no reason. And then there are other things that you can say and joke about that kind of challenge people's current beliefs. It makes them a little bit uncomfortable. Right. But in a good way. You know, you're never really learning anything until you're out of out of your comfort zone. So the comedians that I aspire to be like are the comedians that say something that you're not exactly comfortable with in the moment, but then you think, hey, they had a point. And who is that? I might who learn do you something. like the most? Anthony Jesselnick is a good Oh, he's a buddy of mine. He's, he's if, great. If you are offended by what he's saying, it's probably because it's a little, it's a little meta for you. Like it's, it, he's actually not racist, sexist, no. any of those things. He's saying things ironically. It's right. very intelligent humor. But so out of all the do. comedians that are touring right now, mm-hmm. he's pretty much the only one that can get away with that. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's he's great, and then um, Nikki Glaser does sexual yeah. humor in a very intelligent way. Also, yep. Nikki's great. I do Nikki. The first time I yeah. had Nikki, she opened for Amy Schumer. Yeah, that was a hell of a show. Yeah, I just read Amy Schumer's book, and um, that was a great book. I really got you know. I have not. Yeah, she she's and a I won't, very interesting person. Because I don't person. read a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just the, don't. I listen to audio books. Really Honestly, I listen to audio books yeah. more than anything. But back to the sexual humor, I I say I don't tell dirty jokes. I tell sexual jokes. Because sex is not dirty. Okay. It's a human thing. It's, sure. And I think keeping something in the dark and hiding it actually is kind of dangerous, you uh-huh. know? Kids are going to figure it out whether you like it or not. So you can either be open about it and admit that it's a normal human thing, or you can let them navigate through Pornhub and figure it out themselves, and it's probably not going to be the right thing. Right. They're going to come. <laughs> across, they're going to venture across yeah. something that probably isn't yeah. a traditional I mean, when I was technique. a kid, yeah, when I was a kid, I was sheltered. So this is kind of coming from a personal past. 
my parents did not speak of sex at all. It was just, oh my gosh, it was just, you did not talk about it, which of yeah. course, what are you going to do when you can't talk about something? Yeah. You're going to be very you're interested, be interested in it. Oh my gosh. So you're very sexual active. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she's extremely horny on the captain's log. We appreciate well, that. And she's going to be on stage. You can uh, come see her yeah. March 2nd. Don't miss her. Uh, no, I'm just I kidding. I am 30. That means hormonally yeah. I'm basically yeah, that, a 17-year-old boy. Is that work that way? Says, they all say that, but does it really kick in at 30? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm also recently divorced, so it could just be like yeah, like, you're on the you're on the party train. Yeah, I'm on the yeah. You want to? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> or was it? No, um. <laughs> that's kind of, it's funny. So 30 is the magic number, or what? Or was it gradual? Um. Or was it the divorce and it went right to the moon? It was probably more the divorce. Yeah. It was just like, you know, you, you, I don't know. How like, long were you married? I was married for eight years. Eight years? Yeah. I got married young. Really? I got married at 22. Wow. Because, you know, because my family was very, you know, you got to save for marriage. You got to save for marriage. You know, and there were a couple of times where I didn't save for marriage. But like overall. Throughout the marriage? Overall. No. What do you mean throughout the, the overall? <laughs> you didn't save it, it just for him while you were married? I can't no, no, understand no, 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 why no, you're not no, married I meant, I meant before. Oh, okay, okay. Before, I was confused. Before, sorry, before. sorry. I was confused. I was before, confused. you know, like, yeah, because when you're younger, you want to do what, you, what your family thinks we're, is the right correct. thing. So, you know, I went to Catholic school yeah. and they were like, you know, Jesus doesn't want you to have sex unless it's in the butt. And that's the So you got legal. married at 22, but you were sexually <laughs> active at what age? Mm, oh, uh, n uh, 19, but it was only like, you know, it was those couple of times. And was we... it with the same guy? The, so the same guy or no? Yeah. Yeah. Really? So you married your, like, not well, high school sweetheart, but like close to it? Married. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So that's another reason why I think, you know, people need to relax a little bit. On, and, you know, I married a great guy. Sure. Like, I, I mean, stand up guy. I highly recommend him to anyone. Who's Did you get for half a shit? No. I what do didn't. you mean, no? I, how do you not? How does that happen? I know. My lawyer said I was stupid. How do I do, how do, I do that? Here's the thing. <laughs> uh, we both had our own shit because. Okay, so you came with. You I'm, came carrying groceries and yes. you guys both left with goodie bags. We both left with our own goodie bags. Okay, okay. Yes, we both were fine. I could have gotten uh, alimony and all that other stuff, but I just thought that was bullshit. Because you, know? you didn't work through your marriage? I did. So then how are you going to the time, At the time, I had just quit my job. I had just okay. decided to change my life completely. I okay. quit my job as a weather woman. Because you don't have any kids. No kids. Yeah, no so kids. you're like free. Very free. You know, married, you're free. Yeah. You're just humping all around it's, it's Florida right now. <laughs> Anything you can do, you, you're just she's available, oh, guys. She's available. Oh, just hit her up and uh, go ahead, give your Instagram and your Facebook if you'd like for sure. Yeah, my Instagram and Facebook, both just my name, Christina with a K Montori. You gotta spell Montori because there's okay, no way okay, I can okay. spell it. M O N T U O R I, and I'm tagged at the top of this. this yeah, post. exactly. So you yeah, just, you could just you can just click that for and sure, follow it, for sure. find it on Instagram, the whole thing. But yeah, it just I just gotta be a real person. I don't care what anyone thinks of me anymore. Yeah. I'm good with myself. If you notice, I've got I don't do the makeup thing anymore. Last time you saw me, I was, you know, getting makeup on in the Uber with my hair out. Right, right. So now you're El Natural, Christine. Yeah. And you know what? I get way more attention, uh without the makeup i don't know if guys are like i don't know she looks like you know she could be homeless so i should probably maybe they home. feel <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe you're mess. you She's seem more achievable now more that's achievable. what it is they're so like she just, she doesn't do herself all up she's yeah. down to earth that's i'm gonna i'm probably, able to meet her now probably i've been meeting a lot because if you're like yeah. all done to the nines the guys might be like damn well i gotta freaking go and yes. shower before i say her and, and you meet a different type of person you meet the kind yeah. of people that are all about appearance and i've got to impress everyone right and i'm not really about that i just got used to wearing makeup because it was part of my what's job, the best date you know what's the best date your best ultimate date? date when a guy meets mm -hmm. you how do they what do they need to do take you out where Oh man, the beach. Go to like, the beach. Get that sunset. You gotta going. put. Yeah, you gonna wear a bikini. A sunset. Uh, if it's warm enough. She wears yeah. a bikini, guys. How can you? How can you say or no? I mean, who doesn't? It's is it a string bikini. bikini or is it like a one piece? Jesus Christ! Oh, it's <laughs> I mean, come on. I, 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 they I need to know. Okay, I'm actually, here just dealing out the, the information. I do. I do wear a two piece because of. Um, it, it just makes sense because I have a very long torso. See, my chair is actually lower to the max. So yeah, I'm still, you're like, tall. If I sit up, I'm touching the ceiling right now. It's my torso. I'm all yeah. torso. I'm a great swimmer because I'm not actually. Uh, you know, but, that is uh, true my, because 
<laughs> you are like it's all torso you, you're, sitting you're down you're like, like an inch tall. shorter than me but you're literally yeah. like taller than me yeah right i'm now. actually like kind of leaning so I we should have traded shot. torsos i could have been taller Damn I wish it. I had I got a, a short torso, maybe. That's the way to be there. Everyone's like, oh, she's got legs for days. No one's like, look at that torso, boo. Look at oh, that torso. Oh, is that what it is? No yeah. one cares about a torso. But then the stomach goes for days, so you gotta it's like... It's nice, because I can gain a lot of weight, and it kind of evens mm. out. There's not like a belly it there. Distributes you know? It distributes it. Just, it's yeah, you have more, more yeah, and, then, and then you have like the thick legs, because they're short, yeah. right? So then like, you know, if you're ever not thick? feeling confident, you just like walk through a group. Don't guys want thick girls these days? I don't know. I don't think you're thick. You're very thin. But isn't that a thing? It's not for me not a big thick girl no no it's whatever you want you know and a lot of people are all about the whole um you know a real woman's got this or a real woman's right. got that and i'm like you know we're all real we're all breathing Everyone. and walking and yes. just be a healthy person it doesn't really matter and healthy. loving and caring and yeah. sincere and honest yes what about all those those are good too at know? the beach if in a bikini want... those go out the window though <laughs> then you can be a complete asshole as long as you so the guy's it. gonna That's take you to the, the beach and what else does he have to do uh Gosh, you gotta open up. You know? gotta open up. Oh man, I like I love the wallet the real... or mine. Mine. Oh, okay, I actually okay. I, I I have a strict policy. I pay for my own things. You do on uh, especially a first date. Yes, because I don't I don't like people to have uh, expectations. They think you owe them something because they bought you dinner. Right. You so know? you want to make sure you're in control. Yes, I like yes. being in control. 2019. I'm... The ladies are in the I hate, driver's seat. I hate being told what to do. Yeah. I absolutely hate being told to do, um, unless I'm naked. You know, I'm wow. A, I'm a dom in the streets and a sub in the sheets. I got much, you. I got much. you. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys might want to know that. There you mm. go. You could DM her at any time. <laughs> Please don't. I don't answer my DMs. I know. For real. How many you of can, us have? You can follow oh, and you can comment. That's I'll, right. I'll, I'll hit you up on the comments. But uh, Yeah, you could be a me. fan don't and you could buy tickets to the show. <laughs> Right yes. at Off the Hook Comedy Club, yes. March uh, March second. March second, and it's, it's going to be sexual. Richie. It's a later show, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a ten thirty show with Richie Lala. Uh, I think Eric Myers is on that show. Uh, you're on awesome. the show. Probably Carl Carl and Stacy might be on that show. Hell it's yeah. going to be a it's going to be a um, a great show and a big lineup. So everyone gets to do about fifteen minutes. So that'll be fun. Sounds Maybe good. twenty. Maybe twenty. Yeah, All right, yeah. I can I can do that. I'm pumped about that. But That's thank you problem. for doing my my podcast <laughs> today. This is the captain's log, and and you're a fan, so now I'm a huge fan. Like, you you're know? gonna have to tell everyone that you did the show. It's amazing. I will definitely the do same it. show that Kevin Hart did. You did it. Now you're you've moving up on the ladder. Moving up in the world. Yeah, that's like so a So Kevin credit. Hart was sitting right here. Kevin Hart was sitting. Oh, actually where was there. his torso? Where was his torso? Like, <laughs> He's was short it? as hell. I know. I don't even. But know. actually, we did a, a whole show during the day and I even did an interview on the stage with him back at the club yeah um, so yeah yeah but he had like eight people in the car when we went to do radio because I always do I usually do it with the comedians on the way to press yeah so our press day will include like while I'm driving me talking to them because they yeah. can't run away and say no mm -hmm. so it's good it's good I have a captive audience That's, who, you have, have you had like a favorite or just a favorite type of interview man i Maybe. did I, I did one with burt kreischer and it literally yeah. melted the whole computer yeah for an hour and a half we just had what i thought was gold yeah and i went i hit save and i was ready to freaking upload it and yeah. my whole imac literally yeah. just died oh my god and i lost all of the no. material and he just told that story on mike calta show last week because uh, he was in town uh -huh. He sold out the whole theater I mean Bert's on fire He's so great mm -hmm. And everything he does Is a party So mm -hmm. the podcast Was just great But I've had some Amazing guests I mean right. Not only in comedy I mean we do A lot of different things uh, And my And a lot of it is me mm -hmm. And it's like The captain's law Because it's like My daily journeys yeah. So I'll do all Different things It doesn't It's not just It could be entrepreneurial It could be You know My my health My yeah. whatever Personal issues Or personal achievements it could be uh -huh. so it's just a whole mix of stuff so every day it's kind of something different yeah um, I try to do it every day but I, I launched my own vodka brand and my that is, and then that I introduced the gin and a rum and a dark rum and what's it called uh, what's Captain like Brian it's called Captain Brian yeah so that's keeping me super busy, which I, it's actually cutting into my podcasting hours. Well, now I can actually have a captain and Coke that I enjoy. You can I'm have the captain all the captain time. Morgan. Oh, yes. this, is, this is the best news uh, right? all day. And I have dark rum <laughs> and light rum. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, Christine. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. you being my guest today. Oh, and don't you. miss her, guys, at Off the Hook Comedy Club. We are out. And I'm going to Sarasota tomorrow. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Tune in. We'll see you live.